Hello, folks. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Here we come, Cub. You do it so much better. Welcome back to the Redeemed Marriage Podcast. Rusty and Heather Bryant. And uh, another summer shorts uh, answering your question. Uh, just a couple more weeks, maybe a few more weeks. We don't really know. We're still trying to figure out exactly uh, the timeline I think we of everything. Go through the end of August and then draw the winner. Well, maybe, but I don't okay. know if we have enough time to plan because oh, that's true, if you that's don't, true. if you don't know, you 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 got to get your question in because we'll put you in the grand prize drawing mm -hmm. for a double date with us. We will come to you. So that will happen this fall. This fall. Uh, we're going to do the, the drawing here sometime in the next few weeks. We're going to keep you guys posted on that, so you'll be a part of that. And then if we draw you for the grand prize, and anybody that submits a question gets put into the grand prize. In the United States. That's right. Not the United Kingdom. Yes, that was last. That was last week. We had the UK, and uh, Heather wanted to go visit them at the Magic Kingdom, <laughs> <laughs> but it was the United Kingdom. I would love to go to the United Kingdom. So, you know, if you're if you're still listening to us, which I know you are, you're out there listening. Uh, we love the ones we we love our listeners from other countries, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. It's so fun to look at those statistics, yeah. uh, but. You know, we we love that, and if you um, if you're like, hey, you know what? I would love to fly those people to have a double date with me. We're all in. That's right. We're all in. <laughs> you don't in. have to ask twice. Nope. I mean, <laughs> and in fact, we don't even have to necessarily draw you. You just call us and say, hey, come visit us. We'll buy your plane ticket, and you come have a double date. We we'll are pay, on we'll pay our for way. Your meal. <laughs> we will buy your meal. <laughs> but we are gonna fly or drive. To the people that we that's talk, right. and y'all don't have to pay. Nobody for it. has that's to pay. The, yeah, that's right. You don't have to pay for it. We are <laughs> I'm coming. So excited! We I ha just can't. We have figured wait. a way to incorporate that into our ministry budget, so it's going to be so much fun. Uh, but we have another question for today. Yes, and uh, so, so I'll let you. Today's is from Kansas. All right, Kansas. And so, okay, Wiz Wizard of Oz. If we're gonna make, if we're gonna make connections, shut up, Toto. <laughs> All right. So, um, the reason why I was kind of pausing is because this one's a really long question, and I'm Lots not gonna read the whole thing. Yeah. It was, it was really helpful so that we can help answer it correctly. But I don't think this person wants me to read their entire story on on air. But there was infidelity in their marriage. Um, the husband had an affair, and after like more than 20 years later, she found out. And, um, Oh, was that, she found out. Well, it says I discovered his infidelity after 22 years of marriage. Oh, so not, but we don't really know yeah. when, when it happened. Right. Okay. Exactly. Sorry. Okay. I probably said that wrong. Yeah. We don't know when it happened, but 22 years after they, um, after they had been married 22 years and she found out that Correct. he had been unfaithful. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have summarized it. <laughs> okay. But she said she knew things weren't good, but was completely shocked and blindsided by mm -hmm. the fact that there had been infidelity. Um, but this, um, gentleman was baptized, um, in 2017 and, um, has been stronger and their marriage has been great and better. Here's the question. You ready? Yes. Because then the daughter approached him and says, hey, you guys have been married 30 years. 30 mm. years. That's something to celebrate. Yes. Their family doesn't know about this. Mm. And so she's like, oh, uh, here's the question. You ready? My husband says that he's completely for it. He says that although our marriage hasn't been the best and he hasn't been the best husband, he feels that it is worth celebrating and recognizing, recognizing that we have made it this far. Throughout our years, we have bar they, we barely acknowledged our anniversary, mainly because of some animosity, sadness, hurt, and disappointment that she had towards him because he just treated it like any other day. So it says um, she agrees. It is something to celebrate um, because not a lot of people make it 30 years, but as she has thought back in her mind, um, that if they ask family and friends to celebrate with them, that she wants to know if they're being deceptive and if it's a fraud. We have never really told any of our family and friends about the infidelity. I am happy to still be married and doing life with this man. I mean, 30 years, it's completely cra crazy. How do you move into the mindset that it is okay to celebrate your anniversary 
and enjoy, celebrate the journey that the two of you have been on. Okay, the reason why I I wanted to do this question is because just two days ago, we celebrated our 28th 28th. anniversary. We're not there yet. No, we are not behind these people. But, I mean, not too far behind. But when I was thinking about that the other day, when we were talking about doing this question, I was like, you know, right now, we just celebrated 28 28 years of marriage, and we've had 15 years that were pre-infidelity, and then now we've had 13 years Mm -hmm. post-infidelity. So what I, I can't wait until two more years when we have 15 post Mm. and 15 pre and 15 post. I just think it's going to be an unbelievable celebration on our 30 years of marriage that it was 15 and 15 and that our past, the latest 15 was way better than the first. Mm. Um, So I like, I feel this for this woman because You know, we could say, and we've talked in other podcast episodes about how do you, when you look back on those times, are were they real? Right. Were all of those years real? Um, Were all the experiences and all of the um, things that you did together and as a family and all that were they real, or 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 do we allow them to be marked and tainted Mm -hmm. by what? We yeah. about the infidelity. Now, I need to make sure before you start talking, I need to make sure I think I may have given the impression when I read the question that he had been unfaithful for 22 years. I don't think that's the case. I think it was at the 22 year mark. That's when she found yeah, out. Yeah, she found out. So, I mean, for them, it's been 22 and eight. For us, it was 15 and now 13. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't matter. There's a before and an after. And, but to me, they're all worth celebrating. Mm. Yes. Um, I mean, for me, this is not an easy question. I mean, no, this is a very easy mm-hmm. question to answer because, in my opinion, every day is worth mm-hmm. celebrating. Right. It, it, honestly, it's like that for any marriage, but for those of us who have been through such trauma, then yes, like you have every right to to celebrate and to want to celebrate. Mm-hmm. And it's like, um, you know, when you say to people sometimes, um, you know, he who um, is forgiven much mm-hmm. loves much. Mm-hmm. And like seven. yeah, and that's how, you know, that's how I feel about mm-hmm. marriage that's right. because of what we went through. Our celebrations are so much more meaningful. Mm-hmm. Now, everybody, look, if you make it to 30, if you make it to five years, if you make it to 10 years, <laughs> if you make it to 15 years, 30 years is incredible. And 28, I mean, we, we just did 28 years and that's, that's a huge accomplishment but that 30 years is that's something that is something special mm-hmm. and you know if your family is wanting to celebrate with you you are not phony and you are not mm-hmm. a fraud and like it's the exact opposite that's like right. you have made it through real life that's right real life crap and you've made it and so it doesn't matter that they don't know that. And here's the thing. When you go, if you have a celebration for your 30 years, I don't know who's coming to this thing, but I can promise you they got some skeletons in their closet. And they may be, they may have worse stories than you do. And it does, it just doesn't matter. It's not like you have to go and shout it and you know, confess to everybody there so that you can celebrate appropriately. It doesn't matter. Like, what you guys have been through is worth celebrating. We're going to celebrate. Nobody knows what happened to us. (laughs) I'm just (laughs) kidding. Nobody knows our story. Kidding. Whole world does. (laughs) Um, But, you know, I, I just... I don't know. I this one to me, I appreciate the question mm-hmm. because I know 
I know how the part feels about, hey, have we have we really been married 28 years? Mm-hmm. Because that first 15 doesn't seem, you know, there's parts of it that I'm like, mm. we've even had some couples before that have told us that they they've been married, you know, 30 years, but they don't count seven of them because seven of them, something was going on. You know, that, I mean, I can remember a couple we were coaching that said that. And, and I'm like, so how long have you been married? And they, well, we just say 22, you know, I'm just yeah. throwing out a number. We just yeah. say 22 because we don't count those. And, you know, I, I get it. I mean, that is hard. And that's one of those things that you just, you, you're always, mm, you know, were those, were those first 15, were they worth mm-hmm. celebrating? Should we? And then, you know, but I don't, I mean, I I have come to understand and know um, that they're real. I mean, yeah. those are real memories. And look, our 15th anniversary was in the midst mm-hmm. of what was happening. And so is that hard? Yes, it's hard. But year 16... We were on the road to recovery, and man, it was worth celebrating. Yeah, it's not a, not only that, but we delayed, not delayed, but year fifteen when you we had not celebrated because we were we had bought tickets to go to uh, to mm-hmm. a, to a Broadway yeah, yeah, yeah. A Broadway play mm-hmm. up in up in Memphis, and it was after. It was after confession. you confessed, mm-hmm. and we had not celebrated. And I remember originally, I said, "I ain't yeah. going. There's mm-hmm. no way I'm going right. with you." I remember. But we ended up going because we were we had started the the process of reconciliation, and I still remember like very extre- like extreme details about that trip that were, I mean, massively celebratory like we we were celebrating the fact that we were still married yeah and we were working really hard now i remember there being some hard times during it gosh we went to see uh les mis Mm -hmm. and les mis is a story Mm -hmm. of redemption and you know and to watch that story i mean it was very emotional but I mean, I remember, I remember where we ate, you know, I remember the hotel we stayed in. I remember us going shopping. Like, I remember everything about it because it was a point that was a, 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 a moment in our marriage that was worth celebrating, even though it was less than two months after after you confessed. Yeah, yeah that's a good word. You know, I was thinking how um, I went to a funeral um, not too long ago, that the entire service was worship, the entire service. And I'd never been to a funeral like that. Usually it's, you know, oh, this person was so great and they did so good. It was this, this man would want us to worship on a day that he is spending in eternity. Mm -hmm. And the whole service was about how good God was. And it wasn't, it wasn't a, a spotlight on him. It was a spotlight on his relationship with the Lord. And I think about how, if I were planning a 30 year celebration, I wouldn't want it to be about us. I would want it to be a celebration of what God did in us Mm -hmm. and a celebration of um, his redemption and his restoration for us, celebrating the fact that I was broken and was able to see my sin for what it was and celebrate the fact that you stayed and that he put it in your heart to stay Mm -hmm. and to journey with me. And so I just think that even if you can shift your um, perspective into really, it's not a celebration of the two of you. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration of a God who, who has walked along beside both of you through some really, really, really hard times. And it's a celebration of, of him and, um, and what he can do in our lives. So I don't know. I just when I read it as well, I was like, oh, "This is this is an easy one," you know, <laughs> um, because it is worth celebrating. When you said that the couple that we met with said, "Well, we don't count seven of them." I mean, like last week we talked about my breast cancer journey. 
I don't change how many years I've been alive just because I wasn't <laughs> sick. I mean, because right. I was sick for some of them. Yeah. Oh, I'm only, you know, I'm only 48 because yeah. I was sick for one of those. You know, I mean, like, it, it's something to celebrate. It's mm-hmm. it's your full time since the moment you said I do mm. until that moment has been 30 years. You celebrate those 30 years. Well, you're celebrating, too, because you're still together. Yeah. Like the, the, the thing that, that certainly tears marriages apart more than anything happened to you. That's right. And you're still together. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, that's just such a reason to celebrate. And I hope that you guys do celebrate. I hope that even if it's not a big party or whatever, we have learned over the years, Heather used to be this real stickler for on the days of birthdays, anniversaries, mm-hmm. like they were such a big deal. And birthday still kind of is to her. She's she, it's my day. She's a little <laughs> bit uh, obsessed with that day. Um, she starts buying her birthday presents months in advance Stop. so that she can conveniently forget that Be she bought nice. them. Oh, it's all good. I love that about you. But um, but even like the the anniversaries and stuff, the fact that you know, it happens on a day, it doesn't matter near as much anymore. And I think it's because we just see every day as Mm -hmm. a celebration. And yes, when we get to that milestone, we're like, hey, we're going to celebrate July the 27th Mm -hmm. because that's our anniversary. And we may not be able to celebrate it on that day. And we didn't get to this year. That's right. We We didn't get to. But we will celebrate it. Right. And, you know, even if we celebrate it in September, like we're going to celebrate the fact that we've been married for 28 years right. and that God has redeemed us. Yep. And, and oh, it's, yes, go celebrate. Go celebrate. Go celebrate. And if you have something else in your journey where you're like, oh, those years were rough or, man, those, you know, that time was hard. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. part of marriage. Mm-hmm. It happens. And so celebrate the fact that you fought through it, that you're still standing together and you're still a team. And I would even say, even if you're currently going through something hard or you're just in a tough place in your marriage and that anniversary hits, <laughs> celebrate it. Like that may be the thing that you need to be able to say, hey, it hadn't been easy recently. Mm-hmm. This has been a tough go. But we're still together, and we're going to celebrate that yeah. we've made it another year. And then from that point, you start working harder and make the next year better. Uh, we just had this past week somebody else that was about to hit 30 and even asked about mm-hmm. us being a part of a vow renewal kind of a thing. And so I know that there's people out there that are listening, that are wondering, you know, because even with that particular couple, it was like, I don't know if my spouse is really ready for something like Mm -hmm. that. And I just want to say, just go for it. Like, Mm -hmm. celebrate. Celebrate. And like you said, make it about God, not about you. The fact that you're still together by God's grace and the God's redemption and His work in your life. That's right. So, all right. That'll preach. Yep, that's right. All right, so uh, we will see you guys next week. And uh, don't forget to send in questions. And, uh, hey, go follow us on all of our social channels. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. We want to get that channel going really good so we can start putting out some more videos for you guys. All right. See you next time.